Leader of the opposition, Mark Golin, visited the Uns Bay police station this week to pay his respect to 36-year-old Constable Donald Carr, who died in a car accident on the North-South Highway earlier this month. Not here right now, we understand that, but nevertheless, we didn't want to go on without us at least showing that we too feel it and we're very saddened by it. And of course, there are lessons to be learned from it. Um, we know, for example, I mean, I did some research on it, and I know that the Toll Road Act provides that the police officers are emergency services and that the toll order, which governs the toll road, can make provision for emergency services vehicles to be exempt from paying toll. So the law has the structure to exempt police vehicles, because police vehicles are included in emergency services, obviously, So and expressly in the act itself. So, you know, obviously what has happened is that the logistics of working out the mechanisms to make that happen on the ground have not been as smooth as they should. And this has been a sore point, obviously, where an officer has lost his life in circumstances where there was some element of delay because of those arrangements not being as seamless as they should be. So, you know, we are aware of that and we're all hopeful that out of this very tragic event, steps will be taken to correct that situation going forward. But generally speaking, we just want to express solidarity and sympathy with the brave men and women the police officers of the St. Andrew South Division because we understand that um, Constable Court Carr, not nice, <laughs> served most of his career, 10 years, in South St. Andrew Police Division. So obviously, he was somebody well-liked here, and so you would have felt it very hard that he lost his life in these circumstances. So that is why we came. Okay. Yes, uh, Thank you. For and you can please share it with your colleagues that we came and to express our sympathies and condolences to the family of the brave men and women of the force in South St. Andrew. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm, I'm just trying to add, um, joining the party that, that as a member of parliament for West St. Andrew, where a lot of his, his activities are based, he has to the base in Seaview um, Gardens and for a portion of the time. And, and, and I, I heard the name. Um, not nice as a as a respected officer because he did his job. He was serious about his job. He worked very very hard and was fearless and and and, and, um, and gave no quarters and treated everybody um, alike. And the best evidence of it is what you said, which is that in all of these activities that you've been having around the constituency, um, the number of persons who have come up. To share, um, you know, and to condole with the family. Um, this evidence of how well regarded he was for the work mm -hmm. that he did. So, as a member of Parliament, I knew of his activities in certain area. I didn't know him personally, mm -hmm. but I knew of his activity because I heard about it. Um, and I heard the comments of persons to me personally, um, and how they reacted to the death. So, I just wanted to. On behalf of my and we would have, they would have, perhaps, council would have perhaps met him, uh, yes. but certainly knew of his activities, and we 
will be feel the loss. There will be a void in the community. So on behalf of the communities that you work to you want to join the path of healing to my condolences to the family and to the men and women of South St. Andrew. And uh, I, I had occasion to tell the part of me that yesterday is a very Mother's Day event um, put on by the South of South 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 Division. Okay. Really uplifting. And um, I enjoyed it immensely, as you, as you would have seen. And, <laughs> you would have seen. and um, I think it just goes to show the quality, and I must tell a part of it, right? they have some person that can sing, mm -hmm. and so play some instruments. <laughs> and, uh, the talent is there. Yeah, the mm -hmm. talent is there. Mm -hmm. So, again, just just really want to register yeah. um, for, for support for men and women in this difficult period. And that we'll, we'll, we'll have to see how we can work to make, make bring about the changes. Yes, and then try and ensure that that is attended to. A mother of five was handed a 36 years prison sentence on Tuesday after pleading guilty to charges involving a plot to defraud a loan agency of approximately 12 million between December 2020 and September 2021. Dubbed the mastermind of the scheme, Kadian Russell was sentenced to 18 months imprisonment at all labor for four counts of uttering fraud documents, two years imprisonment for 14 counts of obtaining credit by fraud one year imprisonment for a forgery, and one year imprisonment for a conspiracy to defraud. She was also charged with four other accomplices, however, they will be sentenced at a later date. Senior Parish Judge in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court, Laurie and Cole Montague, while handling down the sentence, disclosed that Russell will only serve three years. So along with our co-accused, we were able to get a combined sum of 12.5 million in loans from the agency.